What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike. And Tyler, and this More League Football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Go West, young Mike and Tyler. I don't know where I'm going with that. But we are on the West side for the Jackrabbits and the Jaguars, a couple of teams licking their wounds and looking to get a win here on the first night of More League play. Rico Martin and those Jaguars are going to face a Jackrabbits team eager to set things right after their first loss of the season last week against Cronus and Denny. Yeah, these were the top two teams in the More League last year. It was a 13-0 win for Polly at Vets a season ago. Michael Lavette, new face, leading the Jags, and the tone was set from the early going oh by... Omari! That's who. Omari Lyles, the big play on literally the first play of the game. Jackrabbits, Jeremy Calhoun getting it going on the ground, but it was too be an air show tonight as quarterback Josh Love would have six touchdown passes in the first half. Dejon Logan going to take the first one in right there to put Polly up 7-0 less than two minutes into the game. Good start and Logan has just been a touchdown maker and in the backfield Levette again under pressure. Emmanuel Facili comes in freely and is going to drop him for a loss and then Jason Nettles gets in for the tackle for loss. That's going to be negative two yards and a cloud of dust. I think the big difference today between the, this Jackrabbits team and the Jackrabbits team the last couple weeks was the defense had that edge that you look for. And ow! Oh, got Levette right into me. And Kobe! <laughs> Kobe Williams, the junior defensive back, picks that one up and some nice moves to get back. You see the edge from that defense creating turnovers, tackles for losses. And then the love connection. Josh Love, CJ Love, Polly up 14-0. Never too much love. Mike. Never. Never too much love. What, the, Starting world, and what the world needs now, Tyler. But the increasingly <laughs> good decisions of Larry Todd. Big sack right there of love. However, Matt Cruz on the tip. Oh, my God. Puts it on <laughs> cruise control and rumbling and bumbling down a 10-yard game from the offensive line. Get out of his way. That's going to leave a cruise for sure. <laughs> Fernando Martinez, we don't normally spotlight the punters, but, I mean, give some love. This one's going to roll out at the one-yard line. His very next punt is going to go down, and Katu Humphrey is going to down it on the one. And with Polly's defense, that's probably going to lead to some good things, I'm guessing. Right. That's obviously in the game plan. Martinez, this is why punters are considered a part of the defense, starts two consecutive Cabrillo drives on their own one. Let's find out what happened. First one, high snap. Kimball Leituala on top of Cabrillo's new quarterback for the moment, Elijah Walker. That is a safety. The next time, Levette back in, but it's Lyles is going to track him down. Consecutive Jaguar drives ending in safeties. That's big for that poly defense. Yeah, sometimes safeties are all you need to win a game, but uh, Jackrabbits didn't necessarily need him in this one. Calhoun feels like busting loose. He's got some room to run and breaks through. It's Jeremy Calhoun running the rock. And then Johnny Uncle Rucker is going to bust through with a nice little stop move. Ooh! And he goes in for the touchdown. So Polly, a 25-point lead early in the second quarter and still building. And it was just this kind of a night for the Jags. Anytime they got any momentum, ugh. Levette eats it right there. 30 yards total in the first half for Cabrillo and negative rushing yard. That Polly defense really pinned their ears back and got after it. Did not make many mistakes on this evening. And then Justin Calhoun. Trying to show up his brother goes off Herschel Dennis, hand on the ground, then the stiff arm, and oh my, he's off 70 yards to Pater. Yeah, the Calhouns, so explosive within that offense. 32 nothing is your score as uh, we're into the second quarter here, and Jack Jack, oh my, let it go. I mean, God almighty, Tyler, this kid can go, but it's the breaks, I think, that really make him special. That hesitation move that he's been using is just killing people. Puts Polly up 39 0. Calhoun. Josh Love's sixth touchdown pass of the evening. He was done after the first half. Another highlight catch for Justin Calhoun as he goes up and over to pull that thing down and LB top 10 nominee for sure. But Cabrillo did get a drive going here at the end of the first half. Lavette finds Jeremy Buckhoy for a nice gain over the middle. And we haven't seen him yet, but he's going to be out there on this rack. It's going to be Lil Rico Martin as he dives down to catch it. But, unfortunately, on fourth down, the Jags can't keep it going. It's that man again, Omari Lyles, all over Levette. Nowhere to go as he goes down for the loss. And then, to give us our final score, Chile Gomez hits a 36-yarder. The rule stays the same. Anything over 35 yards goes in the highlight. Try not to celebrate so hard. You get a penalty next time, though. Nice kick from Gomez, and that is going to be your final. 49-0, Poly. They start off 1-0 in the Morley Cabrillo, 0-1 kind of looking for a way out uh, as they move forward here in the league schedule. They need a respite and to play a team that's not nationally ranked, which feels like it's been every week. I want to thank our sponsors, Naples Rip Company and Papalucci's, for making this video and everything we do possible. 
You want coverage of more league football the rest of the way? These Jackrabbits and Jags keep it locked right here. You're home.